Hello there, well and well met, fair folk. I am Kelsey, and I would like to go from rags to royalty. We are back again. Last time we added a lot to the castle and also a lot of just random things happen. So I will attempt in this episode to invent reasons for why The Sims did what they did. If you guys haven't already heard, I am currently in the process of moving. So these videos for the month of May are pre-recorded and are only releasing on Saturdays. There'll be no Wednesday uploads or Twitch or TikTok streams. The next time you'll see me kind of up to date and not pre-recorded will be in a different place, which is kind of crazy. I'm definitely keeping this neon sign, but the background's definitely going to change. I'm gonna kind of design the office anew. I'm sure you guys will be helping me with that on my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash Kelsey Dangerous, which for the month of May is on a hiatus until I return. The story's gonna move forward with whatever my little brain has in store. So buckle up, buttercup. It might get chaotic from here. If you are new or if you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button. It would mean the world to me. My goal is to hit 1 million subscribers and we're a ways away, but every new friend counts. All right, let's hop into the video. So as you can see, we are back at the castle. I actually haven't named the castle. It's still considered the Von Windenburg estate. Put your names in the comments and an episode or two from now, we'll change up the title of this castle. I hope you guys are liking this totally bizarre design choice. I definitely know I do. One thing I noticed while looking at the roof in the build design the roof kind of looks more like this and i adore that i like this idea of that it's like a little worn in i want to organize the interior however i think we're going to be adding so much more onto the exterior that it kind of seems silly to continuously like adjust the interior so i think this time i'm going to do some minor touch-ups into the exterior just to make it more functional but what i'm really going to be doing is focusing on the greenhouse in the exterior until all the exteriors are done. And then we kind of organize the interior so we're not constantly changing. That's at the end of the video for right now. We're in our girl's head here, Briarthorn, in her recently a little bit enlarged kitchen. Considering her options here, she has been told that she needs to marry in seven days. And although she does have a boyfriend, they, they kind of just got to know each other. It's all happening so fast. And uh, also she's kind of got eyes for the local witch hunter who is still living with her. I think today is still his last day. So he'll be moving out at any moment here, but she still kind of has him in the back of her mind, even though it is definitely not a good idea. I moved her dining kind of stuff a little bit out and her living room stuff kind of over here. And then upstairs, you know, we have moved, <laughs> we've moved the bedroom into here and didn't add a door. So like that's, fine, I guess. And we have like kind of this fancy little upstairs, but of course this will be kind of where the grand entrance is gonna go. It's gonna go kind of like right here. So this will come up to the grand entrance. Our girl has needed to get married. Her boyfriend was kind of caught whispering behind our back to Corbin about money. And we don't know what that's pertaining to, although she doesn't know about that happening. Got 100,000 civilians to her name, but you know what? It never hurts to keep going. She feels focused. Okay, why don't you uh, clean that up and he's coming to sit down and read the books as usual. We're gonna go over here into the new area of the house. We are still working on the mansion baron aspiration and we've somehow reached level two. I don't know when this happened, but we own 30 windows, but our home is only worth 68,000 simoleons, which is crazy. In comparison, I just built on my second channel an underwater home that's like essentially three rooms and that one is 90,000 simoleons. So I have no idea how this castle so cheap. Maybe it's just the lack of furniture and decor pieces. I don't know. I would love her to study her magical tome, see if she can learn anything from it. I would love her to learn how to keep herself young because again, her birthday's like just happened. She's an adult. So she's trying to stop the hands of time. And honestly, I don't blame her. I believe in you, girl. You got this. She's feeling fine. We do need to go outside. Her stress is going down from marrying for money. She's got six days now. So we've already wasted a first day. Now, does she need the money? Obviously not. She has 100,000 simoleons to her name right now. She can just make more at whim. Wait, is that my twin that I made? How is she still around? She just asked if we could duel. Yeah, 
I guess I'll meet you there. All right, so it doesn't seem like my twin's around because it seems like everybody spawned at the same time, but that's okay because we can ask for some stuff. We can ask for some magic help. So we can just kind of ask to teach potion recipes. Oh, oh, wait, oh no, it says, your stay over house guests have returned home. So he left. Oh my gosh, wait, that's so sad. Also, I'm really vibing this door. I'm like, bro, I like the little celestial vibes of the door. Maybe <gasps> he wants me to go to a festival with him, but I'm like in the middle of magic. What am I gonna choose? Magic or this very attractive man who wants to get up to some hijinks with me? What if Wim and I just went and got, went to do something else, okay? We'll be like, hey, we'll meet you there later. We're gonna meet you there after. I've got something I'm doing right now, but I can meet you there in just not too long and we'll just invite him out there. Okay, so I do really wanna duel my twin. She didn't show? Where is she? She's not even on my list of people that exist in the world. What the heck? My twin duping me, okay, rude. Very rude. I want something for my troubles of getting my butt all the way over here. So we're gonna ask him to teach us a potion recipe. There we go, magic, kapow! And that's on being a really high level spellcaster that I don't have to worry about it. Potion of rejuvenation! Is that the one I wanted? A potion who allows him to remain at their current age. Oh, okay. That's not exactly what I had in mind. I thought that I wanted the mortality one, but like, I'll take it. Okay, let's ask him for the last practical magic and then we'll go to the festival. Okay, I wanna know what Herbio is just because I felt like that. Create a fully glowing plant in even the most pharaoh of soils. Okay, I can just like create plants. This is gonna be perfect for my new greenhouse that I'm upgrading today. All right, so let's go to the humor and hijinks festival and we're gonna invite, not Gabriel. Why can't I invite Corbin? All right, I'm gonna go there and then call him up and like make him come by. Hopefully that'll work. We're here. Oh my gosh, it's snowing. Is our man here already? Oh my God, the queen is here. Look, it's Alessandra. Okay, the queen is here. Oh my gosh, Elphaba is also here. Why is my man's not here? There he is. Okay, let's go give him a hug. Be like, oh my gosh, I'm so glad that you're here. I'm sorry I'm late, you know, but, and it, we're also in the snow, but it's kind of nice being here together. He literally just gave her a A, which is hilarious. We're gonna have a snowball fight with Corp. They're gonna get into it. They feel like so youthful together. I love that the queen's just vibing, kind of being like, oh, how do you, do you know each other? How do you know my witch hunter? Yes, very interesting. But we should join a team. Should we join jokesters together? I feel like jokesters is a solid choice. So let's go up here. Corbin, we're, we're getting a drink together. We're joining the jokesters together, Corbin. Okay, we gotta tell him a knock knock joke. Oh my gosh, first kiss was like popping up there again. Okay, let's silly behavior. Impossible sausage mime? I don't know what that means. It sounds kind of scandalous. Oh my gosh, you should, you should tell him about the marriage thing. You should talk about marriage. Be like, I actually have to get married to someone in six days. Wait, he... I think he was like, I'd marry you. Cause I thought that she was just talking about marriage in general and his immediate response is positive. Look at his face. Like, okay then, I don't know, what? What? We're gonna tell some more jokes with him. I wanna do that like joke about getting together. I wish that was like an all the time kind of thing, but she's feeling very jokestery. The very playful thing kind of got me concerned though. Not gonna lie. We might have to like calm ourselves down. Can we, how do we calm down? Yeah, I don't know. She's worrying me a little. So like, why don't we go calm down a little in the mirror? Jokesters are in the lead by four. Okay, fabulous. We've calmed ourselves down, thankfully. She's feeling happy. She's always happy whenever she's around Corbin. He's getting some snacks, it seems like. Maybe we should get a cocktail. We're gonna order ourselves some wine, obviously, cause she's a wine girl. Coming up here, she's like, uh, two drinks for the gentleman and myself. Okay, and now we're running away after him. Where is he going? We can make a snow pal together if that's what you wanted to- Oh my gosh, jokesters win! Fireworks, fireworks! 
festival's gonna wrap up in an hour. It's so romantic, them just like under the fireworks. I want them to kiss so bad, but we can't. Maybe they should just have like a very lingering hug. I'm not saying what she's doing is okay, but uh, I think there's just something between them. Look at them building their little snow pal together. He's so dedicated to the snow pal. And they're gonna have like a very lingering hug. Be like, I'm glad we were together. And now she's back to joking. And he's like, um, okay. <laughs> he didn't like that. But maybe she should ask him to pursue his dream job. Maybe they'll have a little deep conversation. Like, do you really like being a witch hunter? Like, what would you want to be? And then she's going to ask him to like pursue his dream job. He's like, oh, they're feeling very depthful here. She's telling him like a crazy story about a bear and stuff like that. He just seems so entertained by her. <laughs> But she's going to tell him, she's like, hey, what if you pursued your dream job? And he says, although I appreciate your interest, Briar, it's one of those days. I prefer to talk about something else. Oh, so he like rejected that. He was like, um, I don't have a dream job. This is my dream job. Like, let's talk about something else. And she'd be like, ooh, got to walk that back. Got to walk that back. <laughs> I'm so sorry. We'll just express admiration for him. I don't have like one that's like, I'm sorry. If you think career advice is always welcome, better think again. It's now five days until she needs to marry for money. So it's getting for real. She's probably going to talk to her boyfriend about it. But this was fun chatting with him. They, it's kind of like they don't want to go home. They're still here finishing off the festival as they're closing it up around them. They're like cleaning it up. This like lady is like, hey guys, uh, the festival's over. Please disperse. And he's still trying to flirt. He flirted with us. Just Briar like flirtation. After being swept off her feet by Corbin's flirty advances, Briar feels like the birds are singing a bit sweeter and the sun is shining a bit brighter. How romantic. Which I've never seen this happen just autonomously before. I think she very much likes this flirtation, but she's going to have to go. Bye, Corbin. It was, it was a great night. I got to go talk to about my boyfriend for marriage, though but I'll keep you in mind if he says no. <laughs> we're joking, or are we? All right, so we're back at home. Our house is empty now since we don't have Corbin in it. Okay, this format is kind of bugging me, honestly. I don't like him over here. You know what? It would be nice to have this little fireplace in our bedroom. So maybe we'll do that. Have a nice little cozy fireplace. Obviously, we'll put his cot. I think they think it should be here under the bed. It's not like she's gonna get rid of the cot right away. You know, it's fine. And then we'll kind of add a big fancy fireplace because I want a big fancy fireplace for her. I think this one works. It's very, very grand fireplace here. And we can do kind of a, have these chairs kind of on the corners. And that's just kind of the setup for now, at least. We could add this cozy little reading nook chair by the big, big window. We'll add obviously more stuff at some point, but I want to kind of light the fire and see what it feels like in here with this on. Ooh, oh my gosh, it's pretty cozy. Kind of liking it. I feel, I feel like we need a light in here. There's no light I'm coming to realize. So we'll add one of these uh, cute chandeliers. Now it's nice and cozy. So where is she going? She's just going outside. Oh, I love this little walkway. She's walking down. Turned out so nice. She's coming over here. Wow, her house really does feel quite large. So now it's worth 71,000 simoleons and she's shoveling the snow. Let's not do that. She's just like finding things to do because she's bored. <laughs> okay, we could add some more book cases in here or something. I give her something to do. She's cleaning out our... Rebate day was successful. Oh, because I bought the fireplace. I didn't even realize I'd done that. We're gonna copy pasto a couple times. She collected her eggs. And there we go. Now we can sell a couple bottles here and there. Just making that cash money here. And then I guess we'll go up to bed. It's 2 a.m. So yeah, we should probably go to bed. Oh, it's so cozy in here now with the fireplace. That's so nice. Let's go to sleep. Oh, yibs, I agree. We're gonna go upstairs in from the entry room into her bedroom. She's cozying up with the fireplace crackling. Ooh! Okay, she woke up. She's feeling so cozy too, cozy fire. She wants to go talk to her plants. Well, first, why don't you grab some food? It's so, oh, there's no leftovers. So we're gonna cast some magic, get some breakfast. 
Ooh, what's breakfast? Fish and chips. Okay. She's gonna eat a standing up. Well, maybe we should give her some place to sit down upstairs. We're gonna go work on our plants here. It would be nice if, yeah, for days like this, if this was actually like closer to the house. There could be like an underground tunnel, which would be kind of cool. But she also can just magic herself anywhere. So it doesn't really matter. Fabulous. All right, we're selling everything. It's about 2000 simoleons. So plenty to add on to our house with. Oh my gosh, she's going back outside. She's like, crap, I forgot to spray for bugs. All right, now she's done so. Why don't you go inside? A nap inspector. What if we had little patio furniture here, like a little bistro set? Oh, so cute. What would that look like? One of these guys? Oh yeah. Backyard oasis patio table. One of these, or maybe this one. This one's even cuter. Brunch with Veta. Ooh, oh, there's like a purpley looking one. That one's kind of cute. Let's do that one. And then we need some like really cute little chairs. Yes. So cute. We could do something like this and make it kind of like that. Oh my gosh. Little bistro table. Could do a little plant on top. I'm getting ahead of myself. It's literally the dead of winter to be like outdoor furniture time. But I love this little outdoor patio area. So cute. Corbin's an option for the date. Girl, you have a boyfriend. All right, where is my date? Like, where is he? Okay, he's running through the woods. He's like, I'm on my way. <laughs> on my way through the snow and the blizzard. Honestly, give this man an award. He's going through the snow, <laughs> running through. Okay, she's chatting with the nap person. She's like, I've walked past you enough times. I feel a little guilty. So I suppose you can, there he is. We're gonna go sit together in my new and improved living room. Be like, hello, look at this cozy fire that I have. I mean, ignore that the walls are all kind of grassy and that nothing quite matches, but let's snuggle up and chat, express our fondness for each other, whisper sweet nothings, kind of talk about marriage. What if we were to be married? This is the first time he's seeing her house too. Okay, he's seeming to react positively to the idea. Oh, the house is in compliance with all neighborhood action plans. Okay, cool. He seemed into the proposal thing. Let's kiss our date. I think we are going to go in for a little kiss. A romantic kiss while it's snowing outside. Very nice. Oh, and he's getting up to play us guitar. All right, it's very Mojo Dojo Casa House of you, but okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you want a massage? Hello, come here. Stop running away from me. Where's your or daughter? Hello, would you like a massage? Turn around and maybe I will propose to you if you think that we should get married. We've got four days, Oof. we're proposing. Briar says, hey, I know this is fast, but I love you. And you're my boyfriend and I need and I need to get married for money. And he's like, yes, I'll marry for you for your money. I mean, I'll marry you. Ah. Hooray! They are engaged and Briar's single and loving it. Lifestyle's at risk, but that's okay. Uh, so let's go upstairs and have a little woohoo since apparently that's requirement. No, it's not required for the date. They've already woohooed before though. So I suppose it doesn't hurt if they woohoo again. They'll just woohoo. Nothing crazy. Ooh, they got some, a deeply in love. They're so deeply in love and they're gonna get married. Wow, it's so wonderful. Okay, they're gonna go upstairs together. Ooh, spooky, yeah, we can, I cannot wait actually until those are just stairs. Part of me's like, I just wanna change it now. I will have like a grand staircase. Like I planned, I plan to have like a very grand staircase, kind of like you enter and there's a big entryway and a big staircase and all that very castle-y energy. But right now I think we'll just do a staircase. Firstly, this door should go back at the front. Like why is the door coming with me? That doesn't need to come. Oh my God, the windows are attached to it too now. <laughs> Not the windows, come back. Part of me thinks if we did like this kind of a thing, that it'll fit in perfectly right there. It does. I think I'm gonna leave that one window there. I wish that it could be like not quite like that, but I don't hate it. It's fine. We could put a wall there covered in the same thing that we're planning to cover everything else in. Maybe we'll just put like a little pillar in here. Just a cheeky little pillar, nothing crazy. I can't even see very well in here, I'm not gonna lie, but that's kind of okay. It's not my favorite, but at least that way we don't have to worry about like feeling like we're 
constantly climbing up a weird ladder. So now we have a nice little entryway area. Rejoice, we have stairs, huzzah! I mean, it's not quite the way I would picture them, but I don't hate them there, I suppose. I think they could stay there for a little while, if not forever. Resume the woohoo, or don't, you awkward weirdos. Let's, <laughs> what's going on? What's what's going on? Why not, why not woohoo? You got, you got cold feet? Come on, get in there. Thinking about someone else, girl? Ah! Oh my God, just as she was gonna suggest they woohoo, she heard a knock on the castle door and who is here? I cannot make this up, but Corbin McCreary and she's going to cancel. She's gonna be like, oh yeah, give me one moment. My neighbor, she's like, okay, well, I'll be right back. And she leaves him up here. <laughs> Using her brand new staircase. Go off, girl. Yeah, that that is not like the perfect placement for that, but that's okay. And look at her coming out in her pajamas. Like as if she wasn't just gonna woohoo her boyfriend slash fiance, must we say, engaged dot dot dot. Briar is engaged to be wed now, great news. But then again, it's a lot of commitment when she was so used to being single. She seems like she's just fine about it actually. And she says like utterly enamored and special connection. I'm wondering who she's feeling that with. Oh my gosh. We should tell him a funny joke. Just chat with him, girl. She's feeling so flirty. Enamored with someone nearby. I'm curious who. Make a joke about marriage. Be like, <laughs> so speaking of marriage, I might be getting married. And he's like, wow, really? Oh, oh my God. He just embraced her. Didn't she just try to tell him that she's getting married? It's an awkward encounter. Where's her fiance? Where is her fiance? He's coming down. I think he's coming downstairs to see what's going on. <gasps> Girl, you gotta, you gotta just like be chill. You gotta just be, oh, it's my fiance. Have you guys me met each other? Um, he's talking about moving in. He's like, should I be moving in soon? That's interesting. I guess we could add him as a roommate, but let's talk up another Sim. We're gonna talk up Frederick. We're gonna be like, hey, did you know? This is my fiance, Frederick. I've been thinking about this a lot and I wanted to ask if you'd like to live together. He's a moving fast for a man that was like, I don't know about marriage, like not too long ago. Man's is like, yeah, let's do it. Let's, let's, uh, let's move in together. And as you guys can see, unfortunately, they're not all finished up, but he has one, two, three, four sisters that he lived with and he had significantly less money. He's bringing none of it because I believe it's all of his sisters. So he's moving in with us. So great. And so now he's moved in. Frederick is feeling flirty, tintillating Bander. He's happy that he's engaged and he thinks that she's special. That's nice. Frederick sounds like he's an absolute pleasure to be around. Um, <laughs> he's like, wow, I'm gonna go introduce myself. A pleasure. Okay, look at these two guys. <gasps> I don't know, Fredericks didn't seem that interesting. They had a bad encounter. Bro, is this the time to use the magic spell? Furio with Corbin and have them fight from afar. Pretend I didn't use the magic, okay? Where is she anyway? She's like outside. Girl, don't do it like obviously though. Yeah, she's doing it from behind a pillar. They won't see it at all. Pretend they didn't see it, okay? She's feeling a little devious. Woo, they gotta do a fight. It's a boy fight. Oh my gosh, look at her. Just watching it from over there like, hmm, huh. <laughs> the men's are fighting. They're picking at each other. They're like, oh, I don't think you're that impressive. And like, oh, well, da, 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 da. <gasps> and Frederick, oh. Yuck. Looks like Frederick has not been getting along with a certain romance enthusiast. Romance enthusiasts are sims that have a flair for the romantic, but sometimes it can be a little much for other sims. He doesn't like how romantic this man is. Yeah, I guess he dislikes romance enthusiasts. Corbin and Frederick now despise each other. It is on sight. Who did that? Little old me. Look at this girl. Friendly catastrophe from failing to talk someone up. The girl cannot talk someone up at all. She's like, uh-huh. This is going exactly how I thought it would go. Not at all. So that's bad. Apparently Frederick and Corbin do not like each other. So uh, it's safe to say he's not invited to the wedding or? Okay, apparently he's just chatting with me now. He's feeling suggestive and overconfident. Okay, well, this is my friend. So I'm gonna check in with him really quick. Seems like you're fine. So uh, we're going to quickly 
kind of have a deep thought and be like, hey, how you doing? Oh, doubts about the marriage. Uh, I want to check in on him. Be like, are you doing okay? Ask about his day. Yeah, we're going to just be like, hey, we're going to go get to check in with uh, our friend here. Oop, it's such an awkward encounter. Even the Sims is like, girl, this is awkward. Why are they standing like this and they're all chatting? We could help fix his bad relationship with Frederick, but I don't want to. <laughs> Oh my gosh, this is so funny. Okay, well, I thought we were you were wanting to give me a gift. Let's, uh, yeah. This is very awkward. He's chatting with uh, Frederick. Okay, let's just all go sit together over here. How are you doing after that? We're gonna tease him for, for t flirtatiously, be like, oh my gosh, you're so embarrassing. I think she kind of was into them both uh, fighting over her, not gonna lie. Make funny faces for him or something. Try to calm down, de-escalate the situation. Yeah, there she, there he goes. Oh my God, he sat on the other <laughs> side of her. It's a love triangle all on the same couch. Oh, I heard you got engaged. Congratulations, I'm so excited for you and Briar. That's like his friend that he met on the thing. He wants to be a botanist. That's cute. And oh wow, he hates Corbin. He does not like the king very well. He's vaguely friends with his sisters. He doesn't like Vlad who is dead. That's interesting. And he's close friends with Agatha, but he has bad compatibility. He's an interesting man. He seems to be very confident from his fight, feeling close to Briar. And he's <gasps> flirting right in front of Frederick. Oh my God. And Fri Briar let it happen and now Frederick's jealous. <laughs> Corbin does not know how to stop jealous. Okay, yeah, he's jealous now. It feels like it's been forever since Frederick has been romantic with a partner. Literally, you just had a date and she just proposed to you, but I kind of get it because you did catch her flirting with someone else in front of you. Um, So now he has a fear. Girl, 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 girl. You gotta, you gotta go chat with him. You gotta go chat with your mans. Maybe ask Corbin to leave. Be like, Corbin, maybe it's time for you to go. I'm gonna enthuse about the upcoming wedding to my husband. Oh my God. Yeah, he's yelling at me now. She's like, I'm so excited to get married to you. You know, Corbin maybe made a a comment that was a little bit over the line, but like, you know, you, it was nothing. It didn't mean anything. Welcome Frederick to the household. I'm so happy you're in my household now. Smooth apology. Yeah, be like, no, it's fine. Nothing happened. She asked for his forgiveness and he said he forgave her. Okay. I really do think that was <laughs> Corbin tried to stake his claim and she's just kind of into Corbin, so. But yeah, he didn't like that she was flirting with someone else in front of him. I don't blame him. She's like, you're the one I want to flirt with. He's like, good. So I moved in. Take a little shower. We're going to try to calm this man down. He just feels a little anxious and jealous that she might be cheating on him. All right. Oh, and now he's mad. Please don't take it out on my books, sir. He's, he's reading angrily. Briar's just chilling in the shower like, do do do. Briar's like, I've done nothing wrong. And they're gonna get married in less than three days. They have to because the money's gonna run out, which I mean, she doesn't really need it, but girl, it's gotta, gotta get money somehow. I'm gonna save this right here. And then we're going to hop into build mode and adjust and make my dream greenhouse for her. All right, so we're back to build mode. I, I went here just so that I could see everything without the snow on it. It'd be kind of easier. Castle's kind of going here. So I'm wondering if we should put the greenhouse kind of back here in kind of the garden -y area. So I'm gonna build a greenhouse here. Right now our greenhouse, if we look at like how big it is. So it's four by eight. I think I wanna make it quite a bit bigger than that. We'll just like double it in size. I think that might be good. So I'm gonna try to make like a little something here, maybe a little entryway kind of point. So it's not fully a, just a brick wall. I think it'll be something like this on the top. This is gonna look so cute. It's something like this. I feel like it deserves some sort of border looking guy. Something like that, but more it's like stone. Oh yeah, there you go. Perfect. Okay, that looks gorgeous. And then I think I've seen it that there's like these kind of roofs inside of it, kind of like this. Okay, let's see how that looks. No promises. <laughs> no promises whatsoever on that one, but they were supposed to be looking like that. I think I'll just go with not a roof, like not a glass roof, and we'll just do a lot of windows. It'll still look cute. So then we need some castle estate brick. We'll do the baseboard. Now we need like lots and lots of columns. Gorgeous. Okay, beautiful. And now we got the windows, baby. We could put these ones in. Honestly, 
these are looking pretty good with this layout, so. Okay, all right, this is working out. Okay, now we need a very high, beautiful entryway. Could do something like that. All right, fantastic. And now we can kind of fit a full door there. Okay, and then the back, we'll just move these over. Should we do that and then maybe do some other windows from the same pack? This is the pack Get Famous. They have some matching windows that we could add. I don't love the white though. I think it kind of takes away from it all. This is a toughie. It's tough to decide. We could make it open air and just do like a big old arch in the middle here. Okay, we could do something like that. That, or you know what? Maybe I'll just like fudge it a little bit, sneak them in there. No one's gonna know. That looks terrible. So they both would need like over one extra space in order to do that. But it does look kind of nice, so I think I will do it. We keep making it bigger. <laughs> did I mess it all up? I hope I did it. I don't think I did. Yes, nailed it. Okay, that's pretty good. I like that, okay. We could add like some greenery here, or we can even like kind of push this in, but then we can add some like greenery kind of pulling up through here. A little overgrown look. I'll obviously add even more of that everywhere kind of thing. Although a lot of the ones I'm seeing are really clean on the outside. They don't have it quite as much as this. Dial it back just a touch, but not too much, you know? Although I do like the overgrown look. If we want to go more like princess classic, we could do this and hide it. I love that. It's very classic royal looking energy. I think there's a greenhouse flooring that's really cute. That's way cuter. We gotta do that in the greenhouse. Okay, that looks amazing. Like imagine you walk in and there's a fountain. Wouldn't that be grand? Coming in and there's just like a cool, not that one. <laughs> that's not the one I intended. Probably like this one or even the, oh, I like this one that's like all floral, a little floral fountain kind of look. I think I, think I should just add some lighting in here. Some just like normal, normal light just to kind of fill the room so I can see what I'm doing. There we go. Cause I wanted to change the color of this to match. Very fancy, very formal. <laughs> yeah, we'll just have like these kind of raised garden planter boxes that all my stuff can go in. I don't know if we even have enough for all the stuff we mean to plant in here. Might be that this uh, <laughs> fountain's too big. I think it's too big for the space. But the vibe is there. Let's see if there's a smaller fountain that'll fit. Okay, that one's not smaller, but it does fit. Okay, here we go. That one looks nice. Change it up, make it like more rusty gold. Perfect. Get some more boxes in the back here. There you go. That looks pretty solid. We'll add like, we can add like trees and things like that in here. Like decorative plants where we can add like big ones like these. I think these are custom content trees, but that's okay with me. Oh, these ones would be good. Kind of put these in around. I wonder if they come in different color. Oh, they do. That one's nice. Like this light colored one. Maybe we'll just do like two of those on each side. Why do these ones look squished and these ones don't? I think, I think we have them misspaced. I'm sure some of you noticed that immediately and we're like, Kelsey, no, everything. I'm doing my best not to. I think it's a pretty good start on what I was hoping to turn our gardens into. It's not quite there yet. I think that we can add a lot more greenery. Now we can come over here with all our plants, bluebell plants, and we can kind of plant all of them next to each other. We have birds of paradise. They're actually all gonna fit pretty nicely in here together. Mandrakes on its own, tulip flower. There you go. Now we have plenty of room to plant even more things. And we do have a lot of seasonal plants so we can add those. Obviously we need to decorate kind of more of the outside and get like some padding done. But I think this looks very classy. It reminds me of a lot of castle greenhouses. So it's gonna be a great upgrade that hopefully matches her house. I know her house is kind of dark and spooky. So we might have to adjust the coloring of the greenhouse to kind of vibe together or maybe even adjust the colors of the house. Oh my gosh surprise. That didn't cost too much. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you guys in the next video next Saturday. Bye!